Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video and guys today What we're gonna be doing is opening up a legend bundle guys. There are brand new legends in the game today We have Vincent Jackson. We have Charles Woodson both excellent excellent players two players that have been on my teams in the past as well uh, We had the Vincent Jackson last year the 4th of July card that thing was an absolute beast a lot of people use that pretty much through their rest of Madden uh, and then obviously we had uh, Charles Woodson in years past as well amazing amazing cornerback card he always has really good uh, run stopping attributes in addition to being a great coverage corner as well so uh, he's a card that you can either put at cornerback or safety as well and do a great job with him so I'm a big fan of both of these ones. Obviously, Vincent Jackson is the one that you can pull right now in packs. So we're going to try and do that today, guys. Like I said, uh, we are going to be opening up the Legend Bundle that is currently in the game. If you guys are unaware, uh, you can actually pull two different Legend Bundles. First of all, of course, there are Legend Packs. We'll quickly go over that. Um, you get five gold or elite players and uh, four other uh, random items like playbooks and that kind of stuff along with a legend collectible usually it's like a legends badge or like one of the little garbage uh, Collectibles that go for like three five K something like that But uh, you do obviously have increased well I shouldn't say increased But there's a good a better possibility in these packs of pulling a legend than uh, in a standard pro pack So uh, that's always a good thing and then obviously guys They've got the three legend bundle here, which does guarantee a, at least one Charles Woodson playoff legend collectible So uh, obviously that's a good thing and then, of course, there's the 10 Legend Pack Bundle, which is what we're going to be opening today. And that actually guarantees uh, a Legend Topper that gives you one Elite Legend player. So we're going to get at least one Legend player today, guys. I don't know who it's going to be. Uh, obviously, there's a chance at getting Vince Jackson as well in this. So we're going to try and do that. But uh, with that said, guys, let's open this thing up. Let's purchase the points that we need to, to, to get it. Um, we're going to get 8,900 points. So uh, that's 75 bucks. It's a pretty expensive pack opening. But... All right, guys, so we've got the 7,500 points. Actually, we have 8,900. We purchased the uh, that pack, so or that's, I don't know what the hell you call it, that purchase that we made. Uh, but it is, again, guys, 7,500 coins or points for this 10-pack Legend Bundle. Wish us some luck, guys. This is a lot of money to spend on a freaking bundle, but we'll try and do it right here, guys. Hopefully, we can get something good. Uh, we're going to leave the Legend Exchange Pack at the end. That's going to be the last thing that we open up. That's going to guarantee us our Legend player. So hopefully, we can get something better out of these just standard packs here. Pull a Legend. That would be freaking amazing. As we get a Captain Munnerling here to start things off, we get a... I can't believe they still have these. This is the highest quick sell that you can get in the uh, Ultimate Freezes, but still, 1250 Like, seriously, are you kidding me right now um, if nothing else guys hey we get a Donovan McNabb collectible okay um, if nothing else out of these packs hey, look how many Vikings we got by the way what the hell um, but uh, if nothing else we're gonna get at least uh, a couple good things that we can put in and, and do like sets and that kind of stuff with so uh, hopefully that will be good enough for us we're not gonna lose a ton of coins this first pack I don't think we made anywhere near our coins back our legend collectible the McNabb one probably doesn't go for a whole lot I would imagine so, uh, unfortunately, it's not the best pack opening ever, but we'll continue on here, guys, and see if we can get anything good out of the rest of these. And the first thing that we get, let's go. We get an elite out of this one, uh, an elite left guard, not too bad. Then uh, Kendall Wright, okay, Ryan's one of Ryan's favorite players. Chris Ivory, another elite. We get a Lorenzo Neal year 2006 collectible. I don't think this goes for very much. Um, the Lorenzo Neal ones are probably some of the cheapest ones that you can pull. But again, I, I don't know off the top of my head what these are all going for. Aaron Williams and then the Patriots coach. So, or excuse me, Patriots offense. So, do get the lead out of this pack, um, but not a whole lot other than that. Next pack, let's go, baby. Come on. We got to make our coins back at least. We got to get something good out of this for once. Morgan Moses. Jaquiz Rogers, we get an elite here, and it is a Walter Payton collectible, okay? Walter Payton's one of the better elites, or one of the uh, better legends, I should say. Tyron Matthews, the honey badger, and then a Jay Howard to wrap up this pack. So another one, not a whole lot out of it. No elites in this one other than the guaranteed uh, legend collectible. Come on now, let's go. Benny Logan, Rashad Jennings, this is a team of the week card. So at least it's something new. A Legends badge, okay. Legends badges are all right right now because uh, when the new Legends are in the game, you do need those uh, to be able to put them into the set for, like, the Charles Woodson. So these do usually rise up a little bit on the weekends. Um, I mean, obviously, a lot of people are pulling Legend packs on the weekends, but still, uh, because so many people like to do the sets, a lot of times those do rise up a little bit in price. Or at least in the, the following days after the uh, Legend packs come out of the game, then they usually get even more expensive. 
Um, come on, baby. Let's go. And we get... Okay, we get another Donovan McNabb collectible. I think this is the exact same one that we got out of the first pack. Could be wrong, but I think it is. So that's not good, but that's all right. We're probably going to sell it anyway. We're probably not going to do any of these uh, legend sets, to be completely honest with you. I know I do have like 10 million, 10 and a half million coins right now, by the way, guys. Um, but we're holding off right now. We still do have a couple of other things to sell. Um, and then obviously we're uh, we're still pulling the packs here in this video. But um, we're not going to try and build our team yet. It's, we're probably going to wait at least a couple more days until, you know, hopefully we can maybe get the team of the year stuff coming out soon as we get another legend badge there. Oh, first card out of the pack, by the way, was a Schefter star. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, oh, God, 250. Oh, we get an elite card at the end, though. What is this? Jamie Collins. All right, Jamie Collins. I think I have, like, three of those now. I need to sell these damn things. I don't think they're worth a whole lot. But, uh, like I was saying, guys, we're not going to spend all of our coins building a team. Uh, a lot of the stuff that I want to do on this channel for the rest of the year is going to be pack opening type stuff. As we get another Donovan McNabb collectible. You know what? Maybe if the, if we pulled three different McNabb collectibles, it might be viable for us to actually do the McNabb set. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but uh, like I said, guys, I just I don't want to spend all my coins building my own team. Like, I know I could build pretty much an amazing team right now for 10.5 million coins. But, like, what's the real advantage to that in this game? Um, I mean, obviously, the cards do play better. I know a lot of people have this idea that they don't. But the cards do honestly play better as we get a Charles Woodson collectible. Okay, that's really good because the Charles Woodson ones are probably the most expensive in the game right now. Or right up there with the most expensive. So, that's a really solid pull. Um, but like I was saying, guys, uh, you know, the advantage of it for me is really not that great. I mean, I could build a team for uh, 1.5 to 2 million, which is only going to spend like 20% of my coins and be really, really satisfied with it. Have a really, really good team uh, like I did before, like a 91, 92 overall team. That's going to be still way better than your average person. Uh, it's not going to be the Mr. Golden Sports, the Toke team or anything like that, but it's still going to be really good. And I'd be really, really happy with that. And then I would still have plenty of coins to do pack opening videos for you guys. Uh, and all kinds of other different content giveaways and that kind of stuff we are going to be doing pink slips on the channel somewhat soon uh, I don't want to I don't want to do the uh, the pink slip series on this channel until I actually get to or until the, like the NFL season is over until we get to that point and the reason for it is because I usually do the pink slip series on the weekends and I don't want to be up against the freaking NFL games when I'm trying to stream it's just it's too ridiculous not to mention I want to watch the games myself I'm a big NFL fan so uh, I pretty much watch all the games uh, and this pack we obviously only get the legend pack nothing real other than that in this pack opening unfortunately We've still got a couple more packs, it seems like, here. And th this is actually the last one, it looks like. As we get a Deacon Jones collectible. Okay. I don't know if, what these are going for. Like, I honestly have no idea what the actual um, the year collectibles. I don't know if those are actually going for more or less. Or I forget. But um, we do get a Deacon Jones collectible, so that's nice. Max Garcia, team of... Or what is this? Football Outsiders, excuse me. Danny Woodhead, Ziggy Hood. And then the final card is going to be Brandon Boykin. So, unfortunately, we do not pull a legend out of our 10-pack legend bundle. I know a lot of people were pulling legends. So, uh, we're going to be left now with the final thing that we have today, which is our elite exchange. Our elite legend exchange is what it's called, which is just going to guarantee us an elite legend. So... With that said, and by the way, guys, we do still have an X Factor pack, a large 10 large quick sell pack. We're going to be bringing you guys that video here probably tomorrow, I think. Uh, but this is the final thing that we're opening up in the packs today, guys. Legends Extreme or ex Exchange pack, excuse me. Hopefully, we can get a good card. I'm really hoping for Vincent Jackson. That would be freaking amazing. But let's go, baby. Come on, give me something amazing. Let's go. One time. One time, something good as we get in a mod green. Damn it. I think Amon Green is probably one of the lowest priced elite uh, legends that we could get right now, unfortunately. Um, but he is a good card. I, sh I shouldn't be too disappointed because I could pull one of the legends that came out at the beginning of the game, like a Brian Finneran or something like that. And that would probably be a lot worse. But uh, still, I I wish we got something a little bit better. We do get an Amon Green, though. Um, he is a solid player, 92 speed, 96 carrying is obviously pretty good. He also is a good catcher as well out of the backfield. So, um, you know, this is a, this is a solid card. It's not the best thing that I could have pulled but hey it's an elite it's actually our only legend that we have pulled this year and it's only because it was guaranteed that we had to get a legend so uh you know it's nice to get one but uh you know it is what it is hopefully you guys enjoyed the video though if you did please do me a favor go ahead and click that like button it really helps out the channel a lot it'll help us with doing more pack opening videos in the future for you guys and doing giveaways and that kind of stuff so again guys hopefully you enjoyed it if you did hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll talk to you guys again soon.
Hey guys, if you're enjoying my videos, do me a favor, click that subscribe button on the right side of your screen right now. Otherwise, you can always check out my previous video by clicking on the left side of the screen. Thank you guys again.